Hello, I'm Michael Cashman and I'm really proud to be supporting Amnesty International, Gendered Intelligence, Parapride, Black Pride and Stonewall in Pride Inside. And this is exactly where I am, inside my home in London. But I want to be with you because we have to now more than ever show that we are not only proud together, but loud together. We are as equal as one another. So more of that later, but I thought I'd give you a little reading from my book, one of them recently published. Um, and the bit I've chosen is uh, in 1983, I met the love of my life, Paul Cottingham. Um, we've been seeing one another a few months. There was a age difference between us. Our relationship under UK law was illegal. Indeed, there were no protections for LGBT plus people, certainly no equality. And this is after our first weekend in London. On Monday morning, there was a gentle silence, both of us knowing that he had to leave. I busied myself to conceal my sadness and realised that I hadn't once tried to escape him by immersing myself in work. I had just enjoyed the experience. It felt strange and it felt new. I checked the clock and announced that we should head for King's Cross to give ourselves plenty of time. The station seemed empty, yet people were all around us. I stood looking at the huge clock and mentally urged it not to move forward. Standing as close to him as I could, I tried to feel the touch of his hair on my face as he turned to look at me. He was going, going away. So much had happened in just one weekend. We had shared so much and I wanted us to share more. It felt like we fitted together. I kept looking at him so that I could vividly recall his features when he was gone. The turn of his lips as he smiled, the flash of his teeth, the blue of his eyes with that unique hazel fleck in the left. We stood there saying nothing. I thought about jumping on the train with him, but what would happen when I got to the other end? What of my commitments in London? We had tea in the station buffet and I tried to force down a Mars bar, but I had little appetite. The clock on the wall called time on us. The train was waiting. And then it happened. Without any warning, he grabbed me and kissed me. As he pulled away, I sat there stunned. Neither of us looked around the buffet to see if anyone had witnessed it. It was as if they didn't exist. No one else did. He had kissed me in broad daylights. We smiled like idiots. Bliss fed idiots. At five minutes to two, we walked to the point of separation. An invisible line stretched between us. And again, we kissed. Then I stepped back. We looked at each other and, mouthing goodbye, he turned and walked away. I wanted to call him back. I wanted to shout, I love you, Paul Cottingham. But I just stood there, watching him making his way along the platform. He faded from sight and climbed into a carriage at the far end of the train. I waited as all the doors were closed. The exhaust rose above the engines of the Intercity 125 and the ticket inspector removed the departure board and I held my vigil as the train slowly heaved itself 
out of the station. As if in slow motion, I turned and walked away. There you are, a kiss, a simple kiss. What is it that people do not understand about the equality of love? Because it's love that we have in common. So we must stand with others. We are as equal as others or as unequal as them. It took us a long time to achieve equality and we still haven't quite got it here in the United Kingdom. We've now got to defend it and promote it. So please stand and support Elsvieta. You can do it very simply by visiting the Inside Pride page and with a few simple clicks, put your voice and your solidarity there with the rest of us. Because we believe that no one should be treated unequally because of their identity or their sexuality. Have a wonderful Pride. And as the Prides that we normally have, we can't have, reflect on this. We advance together. Only together. Thank you for watching and have a great Pride Month.